Hey guys, welcome back to Honeycomb. My name is Kayo, and today we are going to be unboxing this. This is the Jordan Tatum 3. Should we jump right into it? We're going to unbox it, and then I'm going to try it on. I'm going to let you know how it feels on foot. I'll let you know a little bit about the materials and what I think of it. But before we get started, if you could click the thumbs up button uh, and subscribe, that would mean a lot to me, especially if this is not the first video that you're watching. I know a lot of you are returning watchers, so it would help a lot if you were subscribed to the channel, and I'd appreciate that a lot. Oh, one more thing. And whenever I'm doing one of these Tatum unboxings, I like to wear my Celtics jersey so that you guys know exactly where I stand and just how biased I am that the Boston Celtics are the only 18-time world champions. And, uh, you know, facts are facts. They're the greatest. It's a fact. It's up to you. You can give what I have to say um, a grain of salt. But I do think that if you go back and look through the history of our channel and our videos, I, do, I am able to give some really good information despite my biases towards the Celtics and Nike and Jordan, uh, Jordan brand, those being some of my favorite things in the world. And at the end of the day, it's, you know, this is for us. This is to celebrate us. So with that said, let's get into the unboxing. This is the Jordan Tatum 3. Welcome to the garden. Uh, it says here that it's in white slash black slash kinetic green, whatever that is. Um, the box itself has a lot of the pattern that's on the Tatum 3 and you have the JT logo. All right, so let's open it up. Flip top box. And the paper, paper is like a translucent paper and uh, a little bit plasticky. And it has sketches of the sneaker, but it's not the actual sneaker. These look like prototype sketches of maybe what the, the Tatum 3 looked like on the way to becoming the Tatum 3. Uh, so that'll be interesting to look at. And here is the sneaker. There's a part of me that wants to go into detail and show you all the bits of this paper, but why don't we save that for you? So when you get your pair, make sure you take a look at that paper and look at all of the details that they put into it. And that'll be a little Easter egg for you guys. But for the rest of us, let's talk about the sneaker. This is the Tatum 3. Yeah, I'll put this one over here and uh, let's look at the right shoe for, uh, for a detailed breakdown. Now the colorway, welcome to the garden, is according to Jason Tatum, one thing, according to Jordan Brand, another thing. So it, it's kind of two different stories. According to Jordan Brand, they say that it's a tribute to Jason Tatum's own garden at home where he spends a lot of time with his family, with his son, and now his two sons, I guess. Um, and that's where kind of the inspiration comes from the pattern. You can see that there's flowers and leaves and stuff in a pattern that goes all around this kind of wavy detail that goes all around the sneaker. But if you ask Jason Tatum, and he said this in a number of interviews, Welcome to the Garden is very much inspired by the Boston Garden, um, his other home, basically his basketball home. You know, he said that he really wanted for people to be able to come in and wear this shoe and know that it was inspired by, the, by them. And the fact that, you know, the Boston Garden is a place where he won his first championship, where he's accomplished so much, broken so many records for the Boston Celtics. And so this colorway is very much for his fans, for the fans of the Boston Celtics specifically. Now there is a unique colorway, um, a variation of this colorway that came out only in Boston in the store Concepts, which is a famous boutique in Boston. I have here the Concepts Air Max 1 on the tongue, it says Concepts there. So Concepts is a store from Boston. And so they have a unique collaboration on this sneaker. There was also Jordan 1 that came in the same pack. And the main differences are they uh, they put a Dubre that was gold and the entire tongue is Celtic green. And I think one more thing, they changed this panel over here to be green instead of black. So some of the black detailing was done in Celtic green and lucky green. And uh, those are exclusive to concepts. It's a nicer sneaker to be honest, but they're limited. They're limited for a reason. Um, and so this is what the rest of us get. If you went, if you ordered it online and uh, got it from a store, from you know Foot Locker or any place like that, this is what you would get. Let's talk about the traction because this is one of the main differences 
usually that you get when you are buying the Asian release or the PF version. So the outsole is done up with these large pods of translucent rubber. And you actually see through the translucent rubber where the zoom unit is here. So I believe it's bottom loaded. And I've heard that it is articulated zoom. I'm not sure if it's zoom turbo or that other one, the articulated zoom that was in the Pegasus 38. There's some white hard rubber that runs throughout the rest of the outsole. Jumpman in the heel section and Jason Tatum's number zero here on the heel. Now also visible as you transition up are other pods. So I'm guessing that this color is the kinetic green. It's like a light Tiffany. And all of those parts are Kushlon 3.0 and you actually see it called out here, Kushlon 3.0. And then of course here where the air zoom unit is, it says air zoom. Now the Kushlon is super duper soft. It'll be interesting to see what this is like on foot. And then coming up from the outsole, you have this section that's also hard rubber that reaches up through the arch section of your foot. Now this is reminiscent of a design feature that they had on the Tatum 2, which was the, the very prominent like pod design that they had. Now. Here you have Kushlon and then there's some mesh here that's for breathability. And then on the lateral side, you actually have a callback to those pods on the Tatum 2 as well. Kind of this organic design that's kind of opening up also there. Now these rubber bits that are black are really hard. Like it's kind of unusual how many textures there are on this shoe and uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Now moving up from the, from the outsole to the midsole, it kind of wraps up into the midsole to be honest. And it reaches up, you know, up to where your foot is. So it's not under your foot. Your foot is kind of sit inside all of this rubber. And then there's kind of these revealed spots, I guess, for the cushion to expand out of and create the cushion. And that is true on both the lateral and the medial side. Here on the medial side, you have that big pot again, we talked about it earlier. And here you see it says find a way. In terms of upper materials, you have this breathable mesh that is here inside of the pot that allow your arch to breathe. And then you actually have some of that same mesh here on the toe. So this is a very interesting feature. Just to have like a little bit of like a ventilation hole here in the toe. And then the body is made up out of what looks like a synthetic, almost canvas material and rip stop. So if you look at the inside of the shoe, it kind of gives some clues to how the shoe was built. And it's super interesting because this white section is ripstop, flat textile, almost like a canvas. You have some mesh style padding up here in the ankle, but the print here, where the welcome to the garden print is, where the flowers and leaves are, that is actually printed on ripstop as well. So I believe that they actually printed it directly on this white ripstop and then sewed all of this embroidery on top. And the embroidery is gorgeous. It's sometimes embroidery can be kind of maybe hastily done is a good way to describe it. Uh, but this one, it's very cleanly done, very reminiscent of a early 2000s, late 90s sneaker, even with like the chunkiness that kind of air more up tempo, air zoom uh, era basketball sneakers, but kind of infused with all of this modern technology. So for example, uh, on the ice day, which is this section here where the lace line is, where the laces come through, you have that fuse material that holds it in place to strengthen it. And so that's gonna keep all of that material from, from tearing or stretching out too much, and it'll help distribute the weight across that entire lace line. The tongue is made of mesh, black laces inside. So it's mesh for this entire lace section. And then where the tongue is, it just becomes like a nice padded tongue. Not too thick padding. And around the ankle, not too thick as well. And after trying them on, I did notice a number of details that we can go into later. But first, I want to give you my first impressions, what they feel like on foot. Let's go with pros and cons. Pros. I like that they feel special that they took a risk so many sneakers now look the same when we see basketball sneakers they always seem to like be an iteration of something we've seen in the past and the tatum line has not been like that at all it's always been something new this is my favorite colorway of the uh tatum one the pink lemonade colorway and you can see that like from a design point of view like it's pointy you have the pods designed there you can actually see like from a design 
point of view that like the language has continued through the entire Tatum line and kind of evolved and like they take some risks right and with that they also don't feel like anything else on the market if you want shoes that feel like Kobe's they're all gonna kind of look like Kobe's they're gonna have similar tech setups they're gonna have similar layout they're going to have similar materials in the uppers and this sneaker is not any of those things and as a result, it feels very different from all of the other shoes. They don't feel like the 39. Um, they have some of the same technology with this Kushlon 3.0, and it feels very much in the same formulation as what you have in the in the Jordan 39. But it doesn't have a lot of that shiftiness that the that the Jordan 39 has. Instead, this actually feels like it has a lot of containment. And the best way I can describe it is that you feel everything in this shoe. You feel the softness of the Kushlon. You also feel this midsole wrapping up around your foot. All of this rubber, especially this one here that goes this way. You also feel the zoom unit in the forefoot. You also feel the absence of it in the heel. You know, two of the shoes that I've been playing with, uh, the LeBron 22, which of course, more, much more expensive shoe, and the Kobe 4, Kobe 4? Protro, yeah, it's a four, the girl dad, have a large volume zoom unit in the heel, and this one conspicuously doesn't, right? But the Kushlon is very soft. And as a result, much like the Tatum ones, uh, this is a shoe that you play up on the balls of your foot. So you can see my dirty outsole here. Uh, the Tatum one had pods only in the forefoot, and that meant that almost all of your traction was there in the front, and that you had to play. You have to play on your forefoot when you're in that shoe. In this shoe, it's not so literally visible that that's how you're supposed to do it, but kind of when you put it on, you see it encouraging you to play that way, which frankly is a very Jason Tatum way to play up on the balls of your foot. Now, even when you move to the upper, these areas that are ripstop, now we see ripstop on other sneakers, but you don't see this level of embroidery with just spanning the entire sneaker and when you feel when you put them on you don't feel that embroidery but you feel that the shoes are strong in those directions you can see that these kind of wave towards the heel kind of creating tension up towards the laces here now that tongue is gusseted to about the fourth eye hole of the sneaker so around here is where it's gusseted to but you'll see that there is no runner's lace here there's also no heel slippage even though the padding is not as aggressive here in the ankle so what I think is happening is that the way that this stitching works on, you know, all around the shoe, it's actually kind of pulling the shoe up against your heel. Sizing, I think they do fit true to size, except that you do feel those parts of the shoe. Now we'll see how they break in and stay tuned in the comments. If I have additional thoughts, I'll pin them in the comments section. As true to size, you do feel all of this stuff and you may like it or you may not like it. It is a shoe that you probably should go and try on in store if you want to know how they feel and then support your local retailer if you can. I bought these off the Nike app, but they are usually available uh, in Nike stores, in the Jordan store, in Foot Locker, in uh, third-party retailers. And I think because of the unique setup that this is not a very run-of-the-mill sneaker, it's different from a lot of the other shoes that we've been getting in basketball, it is worth trying on to know exactly what your size is. If you don't have that choice, go through the size. You should be fine. You just need to break it in a bit. All right, so as I mentioned, there are a couple other features that I noticed first on the inside of the tongue, you have the classic deuce, which appears on all of the Jordan Tatum. Deuce, of course, Tatum's son. And then on the heel, on the heel tab, you have some writing that says, welcome to the garden. The Garden, of course, being a reference to the TD Garden, which is the home of the Boston Celtics, where we won Banner 18 just this year. And as a fan, I'm really happy to pick this up. Like, I, I, I didn't want to miss on this particular colorway. So as soon as it dropped, I had my notifications on in the app for this particular sneaker. And I bought it right away. It took me minutes to purchase this shoe. And uh, I'm glad I have them. I'm going to try playing in them, see how they work out. I have a feeling I'm going to end up still playing in my Tatum ones a lot. Um, but they are pretty cool for a, you know, as far as a lifestyle shoe goes, they, they are white and it's rainy now, but you know, summertime, 
in the Philippines, you wear a lot of shorts, you're always ready to hoop, to rep your guy, rep your team, rep your brand, and be wearing something unusual while doing all of those things. All right, so that's about it for our first look at the Tatum 3, the Jordan Tatum 3. Welcome to the Garden Colorway. If you did enjoy this video, do subscribe and tell a friend, um, leave a comment. And uh, the season's starting, so there's gonna be a lot more basketball, a lot more Celtics basketball here at Honeycomb. We watch every day uh, basketball here at the start of the day. So come by, co-work with us. I wish you guys good luck, great health, great pickups. Banner 19. Let's do it, team. Peace.